The stories told by veterans of World War II are awe-inspiring, but every year more and more of the voices who bring the reality of the war to recent generations are falling silent. Joe Lafergie shares the story of one World War II veteran who made it to the century mark. How are you doing, John? Pretty good, pretty good. At 100 years old, John Sinke still has a clear memory of the beaches at Normandy in June of 1944. We landed about uh, four or five days afterwards, and that, uh, there was still a lot of action right close by. I was with a tank corps. There was very few of them uh, come back from that. We heard a lot of, about everybody getting wiped out, you know, and everything, and uh, we were just hoping we could make it. While the first wave who hit the beach did their jobs, there was still plenty of danger ahead. My sergeant, he was, he was standing right by me when he got killed. A shell hit a, hit a, a, hit a building right next to us. A piece of shrapnel come right down through his helmet, and, uh, and he fell right in my arms. And, there were six of us, and uh, there was only two of us come back. Uh, I'm just lucky. <laughs> Sinky is one of a disappearing breed of storytellers who live the reality from tragedy to triumph of World War II. We sat down with Sinky during another milestone in his life. He is surprised 100th birthday party. What the hell are you doing here? <laughs> huh? I couldn't miss this. This is all for you, to honor you, Dad. To honor you for your 100th birthday. By any measure, reaching the century mark is an amazing accomplishment. But what says John Sinke apart is what he did in that century. The photos and yearbooks set up for his party chronicle a life of service. He returned to Grand Rapids after the war, married and started a family. But when he found out the Grand Rapids Fire Department was hiring, he decided to continue service to his country, this time on the local level. Throughout his 29-year career, he placed his life on the line for others. Just don't ask him to brag about any heroics in his nearly three decades with a GRFD. I got rescued a few times, I can tell you that. Because uh, I, I got burned a few times in that. Likewise about his service during the war. But his daughter says his story is important and needs to be told. Kids right from grade school should know these stories so they know where they've come from in this country.